to the Honorable Jim Jordan of the State of Ohio has received 200 votes. The Honorable Hakeem Jeffries of the State of New York has received 212. The Speaker has not been elected. Jim Jordan needed 217 votes to become House Speaker. Almost all Republican votes since the party holds a narrow majority of 221 to 212. The conservative Republican has successfully shored up dozens of reluctant lawmakers, but 20 holdouts remained. The former speaker ousted two weeks ago Kevin McCarthy, voiced optimism about Jordan's election in the next rounds. I don't over read into this. This is, this is about the same vote I had in my first vote out. Um, I think we'll sit down and talk to people. There's a lot going on. A lot of people are frustrated. You have every single Democrat, along with eight Republicans, vote to shut down one branch of government. Until now, we had a vote on the floor. They didn't get to the whole point. Now we'll take a break and talk to people and come back. Some Republicans see Jordan, a founding member of the Freedom Caucus, as too extreme for such a powerful position. Here are some of the reasons Democrats don't want to see him holding the gavel. A vote today to make the architect of a nationwide abortion ban, a vocal election denier, and an insurrection insider to the Speaker of this House would be a terrible message to the country and our allies. Democrats called for a bipartisan candidate, a less conservative, less vocal, less divisive representative, preferably not a backer of former President Donald Trump.